Today, I'll show you how to do your XRP crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another blockchain integration. Today, we're talking about Ripple XRP to be exact. So I'll tell you a little bit about this blockchain and then I'll jump into the integration and then I'll show you where to get the necessary tax documentation. I should have you out of here in a few minutes. This is a really straightforward integration. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the Ripple blockchain, which you know has created XRP, was founded in 2012 and it's based out of San Francisco, California. Ripple isn't really meant to be a payment currency. It is designed to be a method to you know transfer payment, meaning it's intended to move from one point to another more effectively than you know certain methods like let's say wire transfer. So you know it does have a lot of cool features that go along with that. Um, specifically, it's a lot faster and a lot cheaper than many of the alternatives. Uh, Ripple's network is much faster than let's say Bitcoins or Ethereum's, and that's kind of why a lot of people are using it. So um, that's enough about this block chain let's jump into the very straightforward integration okay so first things first you're gonna log into your coinly account and if you don't have one that's okay it's free to create one so go ahead and do that head over into the wallet section and click on add wallet type in xrp and then click on it and now we're looking for a public address so i am using the garda wallet on chrome um, that is going to be where my public address is located if you're using a different wallet that has xrp that's perfectly fine um, you're gonna follow a similar procedure, so um, just find your public address. But I'll show you how it work for my current um, wallet that I'm using. So I've opened my Garda wallet to the extension on Chrome, and now I'm gonna find XRP, and then I'm gonna click on it, and there it is. So this address should be starting with an R, and obviously yours should start with an R as well. So click import. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. So once the transactions have been imported, you can head over to the transactions area to look at what's going on under the hood. Obviously, Coinly has done all the you know hard parts, which is calculating your capital gains and losses. But if you'd like to review your transactions, you can do it here, or you know tag any kind of staking that you've been doing. Um, you can also do that here. So. Once you're happy with that, head over into the tax reports area to download a tax plan that's appropriate for your needs. So here we are in the tax reports area where you can get one last summary of all your crypto activity throughout the year, your capital gains, your losses, your income. Um, you can use this to see where your taxes are going to end up. And then when you're done at the very bottom, you're gonna select a tax plan. And we have plenty of different options. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D, Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax, both online and desktop. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then Canada, Germany, other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can give directly to an accountant and then combine it with your other tax documentation to submit. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. And then lastly, obviously check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But another really straightforward integration. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm gonna leave you with a bunch of different resources starting off with the Coinly Help Center. So here we have a bunch of different crypto tax related articles you can explore. Then we have a forum section where you talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section where, you know, if you're having any issues with our software, you can leave feedback there. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us a message directly and we'd love to help you out. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.